my beautiful friends I'm back with another video and this video is gonna um, entail one of my really good friends company Afro Glam Nails they're on Instagram and she launched um, roughly two weeks ago and sold out like that she does have set up where you can pre-order the crystal clear and the monomer right now so you can go on over to Instagram and check out Afro. It's at Afro Glam Nails. Here it is. Just put the at in front of it. Afro Glam Nails. And you can order, pre order right now, the Crystal Clear Acrylic and the Monomer. And the Monomer is super low odor. Actually, Get Nail 32 on, she's on YouTube and Instagram. Natalie Carmano, she just did a the free promo thing she does at the end of the month for companies small businesses if they send her products she'll promo for you for free and she just did a video yesterday and y'all should go watch that and hear what she has to say but in the package when you order right here you get a little card and it tells you about the monomer if you order monomer unwrap it let it sit for one to two hours it allows the temperature to go back because you got to think about it it's traveling in the mail truck and depending on where you're at like where I'm at it's hot so depending on where you're at the temperature you know and then sloshing around in the mail truck and then in your mailbox sitting there till you get it excuse me so let it sit for an hour or two unwrap it and let it sit and the um, temperature will get right and the smell will go down because when you first open it, it's anything like that it's going to be. But just let it sit and you'll see. And then acrylic tip, unwrap it and careful opening the lid, which I unwrapped mine and everything already. And I popped the top of the lid and set it down and then opened it. It was good. Nothing come out. And the sugar scrub, if you, I didn't get any of that, that this time, but I'm going to order next time. You need to refrigerate for one or two hours because of the summer heat because of it being hot you know just let it refrigerate and it'll go back like it should be and there might be a little bit of smell spillage or melting because of being in the heat in the truck getting to you so just put it in there you know and let it get back right and you're good and then here's another monomer setting tips I love that she includes these cards this is like perfect girl you did good Set time is 40 seconds. Depends on the temperature of your area of work. To have monomer set slower, adjust temperature to a cooler degree. To have monomer set faster, adjust it to a higher degree, like a warmer degree. To have monomer set faster, dip brush in acetone before you dip it in a monomer. Or you could add a little acetone to your monomer. Like when you're doing 3D art like flowers, you could definitely do that and it helps speed it up. And just clean your brush as soon as you're done and nothing will, your brush will be fine and then the little card I showed you at the beginning so yeah you guys please go check her out I'm telling you right now you're gonna love 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 it this is her monomer and I've already tried it because she did sample sizes before she launched her website and let me tell you what this and one other monomer that I use because I have health problems with migraines and getting sick and stuff and I couldn't use monomer for a long time and now I can and I just you know I'm so happy that I found a company that put out a monomer that I can handle and I can do what I love thank God but here's the monomer I got the 16 ounce and it's so cute but it comes with I already opened it when I got it. I was so excited. This comes on here. And then it's bubble wrapped. So it's sealed good. But here I'm going to open it. That's how it is. But this right here. And then you just squeeze it in your. I take my brush and hold my brush up to it. And then squeeze it in my bowl. Which I already have some in my bowl ready to go. So yeah. Alright. This is the crystal clear I got the four ounce she's got warnings on it to keep away from kids and then the ingredients afroglamnails.com 
and you can find her at Afro Glam Nails on Instagram as well. So, let's see. Look at that. And y'all, I'm talking about, and it's not full to the top because this is more than four ounces in this container. So, when you get it, don't freak out and be like, oh, why ain't it full? No, it's four ounces. It, this container is just a little bit bigger than four ounces, so that's the only reason it's not full to the top, which is good because of spillage. Then I got the two ounce in Mimi. This is called, there it is. Whoop. Got a sticker on here. Sorry, y'all. This one is called Mimi, and it's a cover, like a cover color. It's, oh, it's pretty. But the warning ingredients. AfroGlamNails.com, her cute little picture, and acrylic system, two ounce. I love it, love it, love it. Look at that, y'all. And it's like a light pink shimmer color. I'm gonna swatch them for y'all and show you. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I also got these files. They're 8080 grit, three pack, five, and they're 5.99. I mean, for free. Come on. And I've never tried these ones, so I've been wanting to try them. So I got picked them up. And then I got... Look at these little rose gold stickers. They're so cute. I love them. And oh, look at this glitter. There you go. You can see what it looks like right there. And this one's called Envious. And I can take this and mix it with the crystal clear and make my own glitter acrylic, which I plan on doing. So pretty. But, all right, let's move this box out of the way. And I want to swatch Mimi for you. So, I have my monomer in my dish right here. And let me get my napkin ready. And see, as soon as I open it, it's like breath of fresh air. It's not strong. It's not like you can smell it. I'm not going to lie. It's monomer. You're going to smell it. But it's not like whew, knock you down strong. You know what I mean? It's not going to be like in your face. So I can smell it. but And I do have a ventilation right by where I'm standing. So, you know, that helps me a lot too. But it just, it's not strong. So I'm going to burp my brush, wipe her off, see she's good and clean. So now I'm going to take Mimi, and I always, it's just a habit, I shake all my acrylics before I use them, it's just a habit, just a habit. And now we're going to lay, let's do, we'll do a little bead first. And it picks up beautifully. Look at that. Alright, let's do our little one. Look at that, how it lays. So pretty. Alright. Let's do a bigger one. Look at that. And you can tell when your bead's ready, it'll start, like, I get marbleizing, I would call it. It'll start turning, see how it's turning clear? It sucks up in that acrylic, and then you're ready to lay your bead. And look at that. Beautiful. Push it up a little bit. Bring it down. Look at how good that lays. Ugh. Like a butter. And I'm going to do one more little one. Because I need some right here. Yep, just a little bit. And that's it. Y'all look at this color. Oh. And it's perfect for any skin tone. Sorry, my hand's a little ashy, but... Like, look at it. It's so stinking pretty. It's perfect if you want to do, like, French nails. Or, like, a nail like I got right here. To do the pink right here. And then a color. However you want it. A V French, a regular French, a oval. I mean, however you want to do it. It's bomb. 
but yeah I just wanted to show y'all the color and the crystal clear I can do it but it's gonna be kind of hard to show y'all because it has to dry completely for y'all to tell well I don't know not really let's do one and I'll show y'all like I want y'all to because it's crystal crystal super crystal clear and that's why I want y'all to see it like dry completely how crystal clear it is I can't remember if I did yeah I did one I got a little pink on it right here so don't mind that but I forgot I did do one yep AGN clear look how clear like look do y'all see that can y'all see that it says clear what like come on I am so proud of her you don't even know oh I'm so proud of her so I'll just lay the clear to show you how it lays too and I'm gonna do it I usually do my beads on the inside I'm gonna do this one on the outside just to show y'all how good it lays so I hold my acrylic and my brush and wait let it set and once it starts crystallizing and marbleizing and you can tell like it just it turns a pretty clear color and then look at that y'all it just sits there and then we're gonna swipe it down So this acrylic and it lays so good like I am so impressed she did so good I am so happy I cannot wait for the restock to order some more because she did so good I'm so proud of her sorry I keep saying that y'all but she's near and dear to my heart she's a good friend of mine and I haven't known her a long, long time, but she just, I don't know. She's one of them people that just stuck. She stuck with me when I met her. It was just like, we've been friends forever. So, I'm just so proud of her. And she's been through so much, you know, especially trying to get her business off the ground and going. She's been through so much trials and tribulations and I told her just keep going you are going to be fine it's going to be perfect you don't worry about what nobody says don't worry about what nobody else is doing you do you and she did she just kept pushing through and kept doing her and now look at her she opened up and she sold out and I'm so proud of her and she does have everything on pre-order so that's the crystal clear y'all it's so clear them little bubbles up here it's my fault i should have worked with a wetter bead you have to work with the crystal with clear period not just crystal clear clear period you have to work with wetter beads like and i wouldn't work with big beads i don't not one ball method type stuff if you want it crystal clear with no <coughs> excuse me i'm just getting over being sick again but if you want crystal clear with no bubbles, what I do is work with wetter, smaller beads. If you do a one bead method with crystal clear, you're going to get bubbles most of the time. Unless you're hella good and you know what you're doing. But me, uh -uh. I have to work with small, wet beads. And then it just, look at this Mimi, y'all. Oh, it's so pretty. Love it. Love it, love it. Okay, so recap. Oh, let me put my brush up. Sorry, y'all. There's the Envious Glitter. Four ounce clear. Two ounce Cover Mimi. 
I'm just going to call it Cover Mimi. It's just called Mimi, but. And then the 16 ounce monomer. And then we got, look at these. And they go good together, so I can do a set together. And then the, I'm going to open them up to show y'all. Because yeah. I'm going to look at them anyway, so. And I like how she seals them in this. Because it's sanitary and everything else. Like, you don't even have to worry about it. Look at these. Oh, I can't wait to use them. I'm so excited. Yay! And then here is the clear. And the Mimi. I mean, look at that. Now, the clear, I would have to file, buff, file, buff, and top coat. And then, but I'll post some pictures on my um, Instagram of it so y'all can see it. But, all right, y'all. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Please go check my friend out on Instagram or Afro Glam Nails. Here it is again. Dot com. You can check her out there. And you can check her out on Instagram. But I just, I love how she does these little cards too. That's awesome. But, alright guys, thanks for stopping by. See ya. Love ya. Bye.